to say is it, is it scary? Um, yes, that weapons with these types of capabilities can be in the hands of irresponsible people is a concern, I think, for the police department as well as the, the community. This is a collection of the same kinds of weapons police have seized since April. The actual ones are locked away as evidence. A majority of our homicides uh, involve firearms. A majority of our aggravated assaults involve firearms. After a recent shooting in which a police officer killed a suspect, Police Chief Richard Miranda told us... We're not dealing with people who carry Saturday Night Specials anymore. They're carrying Uzis. They're carrying um, machine guns that, 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 can, that can cause great harm. And it's necessary for us to be aggressive and take these people off the street. This is an Uzi, one of the weapons the chief mentioned. The firepower varies with the weapon. Take this 480, for instance. It wouldn't have to penetrate the vest to hurt the, the wearer. It could, it could hurt injure or even kill the wearer without um, penetrating the vest. Tucson police carry a 40 caliber Glock. Round for round, it fires just as fast as the confiscated street weapons. The Glocks fire 15 rounds per magazine. Some of these weapons hold double that amount. Tucson police tell us the weapons are only as dangerous as the people who use them. So training is the best way for police to prepare. The support that the agency gives the officer on the street to ensure that they can respond to calls safely is second to none.